Um, so before we start the meeting, we've got some um, important announcements to make around the formal captaincy roles. As you know, um, a few weeks ago, we identified those lads there as our leadership group. And post that, um, boys had to nominate um, who wanted to go for the captaincy. Um, and they were put through a pretty solid interview process on, um, on Monday, uh, those five lads. And uh, uh, I'd have to say, um, the, the quality of those people in that meeting and how they handled themselves was, was just outstanding. Um, I felt really good about the strength of leadership in our, in, our, in our club. And, you know, to me and to all of us here, the depth of our leadership is probably more important than our formal captaincy roles. You know, they're, they're great honours and, and we want our, our blokes to be really proud that they've achieved those things, but it's the depth of leadership that matters the most if you want to win a premiership. So I feel like we've got that here, um, but we've also got some fantastic blokes who are going to be our, our leaders in a more formal sense. So I'll start off with the vice-captaincy. You thought it was you, Charlie, didn't you? But it's no, it's not. <laughs> it's Huey McCluggage. <laughs> So, uh, well done, mate. You've uh, been here, what, this is coming into your seventh year. You're only 24 and you're, and you're vice-captain of a football and AFL club already. So it speaks volumes to your character and you've got a lot of votes from your teammates and you should feel proud of yourself. Uh, and, boys, we've decided to go with two captains, all right? Um, uh, after giving it a lot of thought, uh, we think it's a really big role now. There's a lot of things that a captain has to do. We couldn't separate these blokes on, on votes, on, on their interviews, on anything, so we've decided to go with two. And I know those two blokes are really excited about working together. So uh, the first one of those is... The Chief. And our second one is... Lockie, the co-captains. So, well done to you two. Great, great players in their own right and the way that they've gone about it over the last few years. Both all Australian players, uh, you know, at the top of their game, at the peak of their careers. And they're, and they're tremendously keen in leading you blokes as well as they can. So, you boys want to say anything? Yeah, I won't speak for Chief. He'll say a couple of words after as well. But um, from me, thank you to everyone in this room for your support. Um, getting voted in firstly by the players and coaches and then selected. Uh, it's a tremendous honour to lead this club and carry on the work that Zorks has done before us and, and Fags and everyone else that's um, been through the door. And um, as Fags touched on, um, it's not just us. We've got a great leadership group. And beyond that, a lot of other leaders um, in the playing group and just such a great group to work with. So looking forward to the year. Um, can't wait to get stuck in now. And um, yeah, let's get it. Yeah, and I just want to say a big thanks as well. Um, it's great coming up here knowing that I've got the support of everyone, players, coaching staff, support staff. Um, really proud day for myself and Lockie as well um, to lead such a great club. And yeah, we're just really excited to work together and work with the playing group to get us to where we want to go to. So thanks very much and yeah, looking forward to it. 